Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. Today's topic is be idealess. Don't have an idea of anything. Spiritual, sp spiritual ideas are very, very dangerous and they keep you trapped. So, as you get closer to the light, to awakening, to illumination, the less ideas you have of how things are, what spirituality is, what it means is much safer for you than carrying a bunch of ideas because the ideas keep you in bondage. We're going to get into that today and I'll give you some pointers so it makes it more clear uh, about this. For me what happened was the more I the more I went deeper in my spirituality the more I began to realize that I don't know anything the more wisdom came, the more I thought I figured things out. And it's interesting because existence, the force, the divine administration, it has its own way of doing things. Obviously, I don't understand a lot of it, and it doesn't matter. I don't really try to figure it out, because every time I did think, I figured things out. And it was like, okay, I got this. Life would pull the plug on me and would pull the rug from under my feet and will throw me like, oh wow, you know, you know, all of a sudden I'm off balance. And it's like, okay, you thought you figured it out. You thought you're advanced in your spirituality, but my son, you don't know anything. And you don't know anything because it's very simple. Do you know why you don't know anything? Do you know why you can't figure it out? No matter what, you can sit down, you can read all the books in the library of Alexandria and you're going to be more confused than ever. You can never figure it out because it's infinite infinite infinity it keeps going and going and going and its vastness is beyond the analytical mind because the mind's capacity is only so much and this one goes beyond the mind so you can't figure it out and the sooner you come to those to that term and admit it to yourself and let go the the more the so, the more wisdom starts to be downloaded i know it's interesting but that's how it works or that's how it seems like it's working so the wise one comes to this point that begin to let go of all the ideas, whatever the ideas, spiritually, spe especially spiritual ideas. Because spiritual conditioning is very dangerous. And I've been on this path for a very long time and I come across a lot of different people and those 
who have done all these different courses or been with all these different teachers and they're more in trouble than some people who are than the newbies. So this is where the danger is, that we have an idea how spirituality should be, how the nature of life is, how life should be, how society should act, all these different things. And now it's very clear, especially in this pivotal point in our history of time, is all bets are off as if everything has turned upside down. And it's a very strong indication, a very st strong way of communicating of life to us that you don't know anything. I'll do whatever I want at any moment. And all these ideas you have of how things should be are meaningless. So, those of you who are confused or you feel like you're suffering, you know it if you're suffering or not. You're depressed, you're confused, you're afraid, you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, where to bring your attention, who to listen to what teachings to follow because there's so many different things out there. So many different kind of teachers, guidance, books, methods. And you're trying to do this, you're trying to do that, you're doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Is my suggestion is systematically Try to drop your ideas about everything that you know. I know it's kind of scary. I know it's kind of wild. But you will see what happens. Especially, especially your spiritual ideas whatever it is you've been practicing shamanism you've been practicing Native American uh, tribes of how their religion is like yeah, you've been with different Indian gurus if you're in Whichever, whatever you've been practicing, Sufism, Buddhism, whatever it is, you have been conditioned in a certain way of spirituality. If you think like you need to be vegetarian, because if you're not vegetarian, you're not going to arrive to God and oneness. If you have an idea that you need to be celibate in order to arrive to oneness, but you have strong sexual desires, you forced yourself to be vegetarian when you really like meat or fish or chicken, or you force yourself to become vegan because you think that's how you're going to get closer. Uh, you think you need to be, be a monk and go live on your own somewhere away from the society and that's how you're going to get to God. Um, you need to get up at four in the morning to do special pujas and practices and that's how it's going to get you to God. If it's not coming for you naturally and it's not happening, means you're not in a flow. If you have to force yourself to do it, means you're not in the flow of the river. <clears throat> 